Hi there. Uh, I just wanted to make a quick video to show uh, the issue that I'm having with uh, the soft top convertible on a 2007 uh, Aston Martin Vantage. Um, about a week ago, my wife drove the car um, and uh, when she got to where she was going, she tried to raise the top and the top sounded like it was raising. It sounded like electric motors were running, but the top itself wasn't moving at all. Uh, when she got the car back to me, um, I observed the same thing, tried to reset the system, uh, unplug the battery, and uh, it, it sounded like the top was trying to move. Um, there was a whining noise coming from behind my head, but the top was not moving at all. So uh, the next step was to take a look at the top itself, and to do that I had to raise uh, the tonneau panel, hope I'm saying that right, uh, and take a look inside. Um, so I'm going to show you uh, what what I found at that time. Um, so here's the car with the top in a kind of half raised position. Uh, this uh, turns out to be uh, a, an easier place for me to be able to work on the car. Um, I've had it sat like this now um, overnight. Uh, what I did is, uh, with a little bit of help, I raised the tonneau part. Um, on the top there are some uh, latches you can see my finger here and there's one on the other side. Um, so those are presumably latches uh, for the top itself. There's actually a, um, a push button under there to tell the system where the top is. Uh, and then I raised the actual soft top and then lowered it onto those latches. So it's actually resting against itself and it is even though there's no pressure in the system, it's actually um, being held in place. Uh, so I started to think that this was a hydraulic problem when I looked inside and then um, down here, um, uh, you can see that this, this latch here uh, comes down and it fits into this position here. So when the top is in a, an open position, you can look inside, you can also uh, remove uh, a little bit of this trim here to get a, a better look. Um, but if we look down inside, um, it's not really that obvious. Let me get a flashlight. But um, you might see some evidence of kind of like shininess, some grease. If, and if we were to look on the other side, you wouldn't see that. So this is um, oil residue. And so there was, I've wiped some of it away, but uh, you can still see some of it in places that I couldn't get to. Um, it, is, it is oil residue. Um, caused by what I presume to be a leak in somewhere in the system. Um, the next, uh, the next uh, indication that I had that this was an oil leak was caused by uh, the fact that um, the next morning after the car had um, been overnight in my garage, uh, right here there was um, a, a patch of oil on the floor. So this was uh, clear um, tr transmission type looking oil. Um, I've since found that most modern cars, convertible cars, use brake fluid in their hydraulic systems. Uh, at the time that I had this problem, I didn't even know that the system was hydraulically operated. I thought it was electrically driven, um, but I now know that it, this is a hydraulic system. And I believe I found the culprit. So if we look uh, in front of this panel here, you see I'm uh, shining the light directly onto a hydraulic hose and that hydraulic hose uh, appears to have uh, a kink a kink in the hose and that is definitely the case when i um, when i squeeze this hose here um, i find that this hose feels like it's actually broken here um, so the solution hopefully is just going to be to repair this hose uh, now obviously you could uh, do a probably better job by completely replacing it um, but it's hard to figure out where these these hoses go. This one disappears um, down this hole here, um, all the way to the bottom of the piston that drives the tonneau mount, the tonneau top. Uh, there's one of those on each side. There's two pistons that drive uh, drive the top up and down. That this these these two drive the tonneau panel, and then there's two uh, one on each side that drive the actual soft top mechanism. Um, and this is me uh, just guessing here, but I think that makes sense. Um, so since the, since no part of the top was coming up, I think it was actually the tonneau um, piston that was the problem. So I think this one wasn't actually getting any pressure. 
Um, so that hose probably leads somewhere to the bottom of here. That would make sense. Uh, however, it is um, a bit of a maze. Uh, you see how many uh, hoses we're talking about here. I read, I read one forum that said that most cars only have four of these hoses. Uh, that does not seem to be the case with uh, the Aston Martin. So my guess is that I'm, rather than replacing this hose, I'm going to actually splice, splice in a repair. Um, but I will I will let you know once uh, once I figure that out. Um, if anyone wants to give me any advice, that would be great. Uh, at this point, I'm waiting on a on a, an Aston Martin Vantage shop manual uh, to give me some more information. Uh, and I'm also not 100% sure how to well actually I'm not I'm not sure at all how to get oil into the system. So somewhere there is um, an oil pump, at least one and um, there is also going to be um, at least one oil reservoir. Um, I have yet to find that. Uh, if it's somewhere in the trunk area, you can't actually get to the trunk right now because the trunk won't open with the tunnel panel up, um, which is not really a problem, but uh, I can't really do any investigating in there. Um, I did find that there is something down here that had been accessed previously in the past, previously repaired. Figured that out because um, these uh, foam insulation pieces were actually stuck in place with uh, um, uh, gaffer tape, so presumably that wasn't done at the factory. But um, down inside here there is actually uh, what appears to be some sort of uh, metal reservoir with hydraulic hoses coming off it. So this could actually be one of the motors and possibly also where the oil goes. But uh, I haven't investigated that further yet since I've got to get the hose repaired first. Um, yeah, so if anyone has any uh, advice for me or has done any job like this before, um, I would appreciate uh, any help uh, on the Aston Martin forum. Thanks.